Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to be continuing on uh, doing a little bit of procedural modeling to um, add more elements to this little tiki hut. Um, let's look over here where we created the columns. Um, I kind of want to be able to add some noise to that and what I'm going to do is create a mountain node and when I do that obviously by default it looks horrible but what I want to do is kind of just bring down the intensity just so it kind of looks like it might have been like a tree or some sort of log or something like that um, and you can play around with the values just so that it gives it a little bit of uh, noise and um, adjust it. So I'm going to copy, let's try that again, copy and paste this and then I'll shake it and paste one more time, shake it and place it there. So let's I'm going to save this really quick. Actually, I'll just wait. Um, I'll save it once I finish the video. Uh, but that gives us a little bit of noise. Right now, all of them are exactly the same. Um, and all I'm going to do is kind of just shift the offset in the um, values here to something different on each one of them. So that way you can kind of have a different look on each one of the pieces and it's not adding more intensity or anything this offset is really just kind of giving each one of the logs a um, different look to feel more natural there we go so each one of these are slightly different and we kind of had that loglet going on. That is good. Um, let's go ahead and add a little bit more geometry here so that we can have um, the um, tops covered over here so that it just looks like it has a little bit more support. Um, and in particular, in the sides are really what I need because um, I am not planning to be able to really kind of see under here so I'm not going to model the front one uh, but basically if I look at it here let's see it's one of these boxes I would assume maybe this one um, so let's kind of select it and see yeah that's the um, kind of ones on the side so I'm going to use these as a starting off point. So what I want to do that's that side. Let's start off with the side that's closest to the camera right now. That one. So what I want to do with this node here is um, copy and paste it and then this one's going to be merging down here and on this one I want to adjust the height so I'm going to delete the Y channel that's controlling our height put this back to 1 and let's delete channel Um, yeah. So what I want to do is have it based off of the height of the columns here. So I'm going to go back to the Q tube and copy this parameter. Go back to that beam there and I am going to paste copied relative reference. We'll see that it um, places it there that is good and then um, on 
this particular box, maybe I'm going to take the scale on the height and bring it down to um, 0.25. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to push it a little bit more out, and I'm going to push it out based off of the radius. So let's take the radius here, copy that um, parameter, and I'm going to go to the um, box here, and I'm going to add and right click paste copied relative reference. There we go. And that's going to push it off inside. Um, this part over here that's kind of sticking out, I'm not really too worried about because I'm going to cover it up with the grass for the top, so that's fine. And really, I can actually copy and paste this node here. I'm just going to shift it over to the other side so it makes a little bit more sense to me. And connect it here. And on this one, um, basically, I want to take the um, x position. So all of this I'm going to kind of put it in parentheses. And I'm going to multiply that by negative 1. There we go. So we have the same thing on the other side. And that works out pretty well for us. So I kind of have the geometry for the hut completed. And um, now that we have that, I'm going to kind of put some little finishing touches with the, um, the grass that we're going to create on this piece of geometry. Um, just to prepare for that, I want to take let's see. I think these are the ones that we need. Yep. So both of these I'm going to merge really quick. So it's going to merge them both together here, and I'm going to do a null node. And I'm going to call this um, out underscore roof. And that will give us an easy way to kind of find this node, because we have quite a few nodes working here. Um, in the next lesson. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next lesson.